Amazing, gorgeous, 10 out of 10. You know the truth I'm coming for her now. I hope they do. I no, mean, it is what it is. Somehow they're going to come for me before they come for you. But hey, they're all going <laughs> to turn. They're all going to tune into the Straightened Out podcast. So Literally. That's all we really need. Some of them did come for me because I did subliminally say I was team Melissa on TikToks. So Let me like, tell you, with the weeks that, like when I had Melissa's old note, the weeks that the stumps come for me, it is so, worth all the pain. Wow. It is worth it because- It is what it is. They all tune in. No, I think this season of New York is going to be really telling for the future of New Jersey because I think if it works, then maybe they will just reboot, reboot New Jersey. Yeah. Because they didn't want to reboot Atlanta. I mean, we, we didn't. We had a chance to. Yeah, but yeah. At- Atlanta died the second Nene left. You, oh, you, you want the second Amy yeah. laughs? A hundred percent. That show died out. I haven't watched it since. A hundred percent. You're not missing too much. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. And now they got rid of Kenya. I mean, that's that, that like that Kenya pains me more, more than that. Care. <laughs> Kenya to me was the best part of that. Hang show. that Sick. Hang that show up after the season. Yeah, I know. I'm over Atlanta. Big. They'd be better off doing real gays of Atlanta. Than doing Real Houses of Atlanta. Yeah. Where is, well, speaking of that, I mean, they did try not on Bravo, but they did try the whole concept on other, look, we just had that on MTV. Yeah, 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 with Joey Zauzek. Yeah. Joey Zauzek. Yeah, but you know what it is? You're picking that show. Those I also feel, weren't real friends. No, well, besides the fact that they weren't real friends, that, those gays were too image conscious. Right. You have to get people on for a first season of reality TV that don't give a fuck, that are going to rock in, yeah. that are going to give you that old school reality television vibe where it's like, if I make it, I make it. And if I don't, I don't. You can't have people that come on television that are so image conscious. Yeah, you need unhinged reality TV. I agree. No, I mean, that, first of all, Brad Goreski, I mean, love him, but Brad will never show you who uh, he really made a it. dirty side of him yeah. on TV ever. Right. So that is the problem. And the with same, that show. and the same goes for when you recast and when you add in Housewives. Yeah. You really have to have people that are going to come in and like just not give a fuck. This is why you and I are great for reality TV. You too. You just don't want to. <laughs> I truly don't give a fuck too. I, I think. Just feel like, I think Antonio will do reality TV when it's right, when the concept is right, maybe. when it's not so presented in a way that it has been presented to her. Maybe. I think, Who like, knows? to me, my advice to everyone is just be authentic. Just because that's yeah. what they say. Like, people, I forgot who it was from Beverly Hills was like telling me, like, when she came in, she thought she was going to hate Erica, but she loved it. Like, I think, like, you have to let your free. I love Erica. Know. How could you like, hate you have to Erica be Jane? How could you hate her? Well, a lot of people listening to this hate her. I- I'm not one of them. You're all out of your minds. Erica Jane is an icon, that. a legend. A- oh, she is everything to me. I love that woman. Love her. She's great TV. Oh, great TV. She's great. someone, there's certain people, she's someone that I feel in the real world is different than it. Like, she's really smart and like, yeah. she mm-hmm. like she gets it, which I mean that as a compliment. I think she's like a Luann, like, clocks in, does the job. Yeah. And does it, it well. 100%. Does it well. I agree. Are you excited for Beverly Hills to come back? Yeah. I am. Only if our friend jumps into her lesbian storyline. <laughs> Kyle. I need to know what's going on. I'm excited to see the trajectory of Kyle's life on television. I mean, they say this is the season of Dorit. They say that Dorit is just going to come in. You're not a fan. Nope. Uh, well, I'm also in. Well, I am interested to see Dorit's I'm the trajectory of her relationship on TV too, because you know how her she and do it for me. Really? She ne- She honestly, she never did it for me. Really? Didn't you grow up with her? Like you're adjacent to her weirdly. Really? I love that you listen to this podcast. <laughs> Um, I did. I went to high school with Dorit. Yeah. Stop. Connecticut, yeah. But you're not going to, listen, Connecticut. We're is, both different than we were then. Listen to me. Right. Connecticut is a stone's throw away from where we are right now. You didn't grow right. up in Connecticut and sound like that. That's like no. me saying I grew up in Staten Island and one day I pop out with a fucking Irish accent. I know. I think it is a little it's inauthentic so on inauthentic. Her end. Yeah. She has fabulous style. That I think I'm, well, that's it. I think I'm a superficial gay man. Yeah. So I think I am like. Blown. I think Dorit is gorgeous. Yeah. I'm yeah. enamored by her fashion. Like, obsessed with it. Obsessed. Like, obsessed. to me, she's like, I love a label on a label on a label. I'm fine with, like, head to toe Balenciaga. Mm-hmm. And that's why her, her husband full, broke, like, right? Louis Vuitton fits. Aren't they broke? Well, the PK and I are now bros. Really? We <gasps> hung out, like, two weeks ago. You're Just lying. Random. I really did like PK. Now, did you meet the Rachel Yucatel? I did not. Wow. Because, see, I'm a follower of the show. I did not. 
Okay, you met him on your own accord. <laughs> I met him on my own accord because I went to, I mean, which I was like, I wonder, I went to a Boy George concert. Okay. And I oh my said, God, I, I love that. PK is going to be, be here. There. And he was. And then he's like, I recognize you. Is and he then still spending like, 250000 on bottles? I did not ask any of that. <laughs> All I know is he, like that night was like amazing of like, come back, stay. Like, you don't need to do this. I'm just- yeah. Living my well, life. Well, you know what? I'll yeah. give, I will give Once them a, you do me a solid, like, that's, you're good with me. Yeah. I'll give them a compliment. Dorit is like, Jesso, I'm here for the husband. You're here. PK, yeah. I'm here for the husband. So you think that with the problem with reality TV for a lot of it is too image conscious, but you don't think, and I'm not speaking of anyone in particular, because we love our Erin Leachy. She was on this show and we love our side, but you don't think the New York, like you compare New York, which is shed media to Salt Lake, which is shed media. You don't think the New York girls are too image conscious? No, no, you don't? not at all. I think that like they're too, and that's like I mean that as a compliment. I don't they're think savvy. so. They're savvy. They're New Yorkers. I don't think so. I don't. I. I don't think Aaron gives a fuck about the image. No. No. I, I will say actually on this week's episode she did, you know, reprimand the husband for talking about mushrooms. So maybe, <laughs> maybe she's learning. But last season I did not. I did not get that vibe. I feel like they brought it. They're doing what they probably do in real life. And right. so I really don't give a fuck, I don't think. No, well, Aaron's like a New Yorker. That's what I love. So like a true New Yorker really just doesn't care. Mm-hmm. No. Inside doesn't care. No. But we have Jenna. Jessel. I think Jessel sometimes I'm, tries I'm a little in, hard. I'm not invested in them. So when they you come on care. the screen, I'm checking my Tune TikTok. Up. Okay. <laughs> I, I get it. Because you look at Salt Lake, like, they don't give a shit. Like, yeah. They're like that shit. And I mean that as a I literally just told Rob my new found favorite housewife is Lisa Barlow. A lot of people love that. I literally love her. And I'm crying over her clips on TikTok of her singing. They have become my good. Roman Empire. I'm obsessed with I'm her. I'm a Lisa fan because I'm a Sagittarius. Like She's a Sagittarius. And I love how she just doesn't care. She's like, yeah, we get fast food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is what it is. We'll go from Taco Bell to Sonic to... Like, she... I just love her. I love yeah, her. Yeah, like, she's great. I think Meredith is great. Not not everyone agrees. I'm, I Meredith. don't... I love all the Salt, Salt Lake, Lake City girls. Mm-hmm. Mary Cosby, my top. I am so happy Phenomenal. she's back. That woman... That's don't yeah. give a motherfucking yeah. rat's ass about nothing. No, she doesn't. She's my number one. Heather is my number two. Really? Heather and Lisa go back number... For, for like, the number two and three spot. But Monica was number one. Yeah, I huge, did love Monica. I'm a huge Monica fan. I stand by her. She was great. I I don't get it either. She's she's made for reality television. Yeah. What do you think of like this season of the OC? You know, the well, t- Tamara's being canceled right now. Is she though? You think it's really going to happen? No, no. No. I mean, I'm okay if it happens, but she's right. It's the takedown of Tamara apparently, and I know everyone wants her sued and I know. fired. I know. OC for me, 